Driving a tractor, climbing a tree, you can find it all at Cotton Top 3. I got to do a little bit of work on my bar. Dad was running my loader the other day and he caught the, uh, they call it a bolster. You, can you see the sw swole out spot on it right there? And it broke my chain. So I've got me a, uh, got me a new chain. Looking at all this stuff here where we replaced all this. Everything looks good. So I got me a new chain. I'm gonna run this, pull this bar down a little bit and close that rail up some. Fix that up a little bit here. And I'm gonna let y'all watch. I'm gonna, I just released the pressure when I pull the bar down right there. So. That's. Y'all ever put a chain on backwards on a on a hydraulic saw or something like that? Her <laughs> processor head, jump over in the machine and it won't cut crap. Yeah, I've done that. I hadn't done that on this one here, but I have done it though. hydraulically tension. Let's get this song going. I'm gonna put some pop that everything. So you just tighten that bleed screw down up here and then hit it a couple times and it sets the tension on it. Yeah it's gonna work. Alright, we 
Also, the one's got the bow in it too, but it's still cutting pretty good even with the bow in it. So I'm just gonna leave her like that and keep running her until the tip goes up. All right, our road is doing a lot better. Moisture's coming on out of it, starting to set up. I've uh, sent nine loads out today, and I'm gonna go out here and work it the first time. The other day, or the uh, everything previous to this is having to work the road every two to three loads out of here. So it's, it's beginning to get a lot better. If it'll just keep on doing this and not get any rain on it, we'll get it, it'll seal. It'll finally seal for us real good. It'll still be slick, but the water won't leach into it when it rains on it. But I'm gonna go out here and kind of dress it up in this big hole that I dumped all that rock in the other day is where I'm headed to now. All right, I just got out of the dozer. This is actually not very bad at all. Not like for nine loads and hadn't touched it today yet. You can see the moisture, the wet coming up in the middle right there. We call this, a lot of people call it pumping when the ground pumps and that's basically what it's doing. The ground underneath is pumping and you'll find these little spots that ain't but about 20 foot right there. Just kind of does that you can smell it you can smell that moisture in there it'll eventually set on up this is looking really good so i'm going to dress this up with the dozer fix it level it back out and then i'm also going to drag this down in here too and uh by running on it, it it actually it sometimes it hurts it to run on it and sometimes it helps it to run on it and a lot of times you'll run on it and it'll get worse before it starts getting better so you'll run on it get it to pumping because every time you run on it sometimes it'll bring the moisture to the to the surface of the ground and then it the moisture will start coming out and it'll start setting up this right here is actually worse than that is right there but i'm gonna knock all this down and the trucks are doing good you can see there's tracks here there 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 and there that's what we instruct them trucks to do is to uh, move around on this and I'm going to fix this up right quick get her done. I'm going to finish this video up on my cell phone and put this on the end of this video right here. So today when y'all watch this video is the start of the forestry show in Starville, uh, Mississippi today. It runs today, which is Friday which y'all are watching this right now. And it also happens Saturday too. I've had a lot, a lot of people ask me about if I'm gonna be there and just everything like that. Uh, to answer your question, yes, I'm gonna be there. I am not gonna be there today, which is Friday. I will be on our job working and running. And, uh, but I will be there Saturday. Uh, I still got a uh, guest coming that are going to be here. I'm figuring they're probably going to be here around lunch, maybe even before lunch today while y'all are watching this. I think they're probably going to end up on our job in the woods, uh, which is, is fine. And uh, then I'm going to cater to them all weekend. Uh, I will be bringing them to the show uh, this weekend. I've got a lot of stuff planned for me and them to do. They're actually going to stay right here at the house uh, with us and uh, so it's going to be a, a very good time. I'm not going to be in any one particular spot over there Saturday. Uh, we're going to be um, moving around a good bit so I mean if you see me and we'll talk to me come on up. We'll do we'll do a video uh, together if you want to do a video and uh, so I'm not going to have anything over. I'm not going to be selling nothing while I'm there or anything. I don't have a booth or, or nothing like that. Uh, I do have a, 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 not a solid plan, but a pretty solid plan. I got somebody over there that I'm going to, uh, it's very important that I'm going to be interviewing if it'll all work out. And no, it's not Bobby Goodson either. Uh, this is more of a 
a lot of people know him, but they don't. You don't know that you know who he is. But I'm going to bring that to light if it will, uh, if the interview will work out. That's supposed to happen Saturday morning, about the middle of the morning, and uh, I hope it does work out where I can make it happen. But uh, I'm just going to kind of. I've been to so many of these logging shows, it's crazy over the years, and uh, I'm going to go over there and I'm just going to kind of cater to them. And so whenever they're ready to go, we'll we'll go. But uh, if they want to stay all day, we'll stay all day. We'll just see. But like I said, if, uh, if you see me walking around, I will not have on an orange shirt. I will be kind of a little bit harder to spot. Uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so, but it'll be cool. Uh, it'll be a good. Be, it should be a good time. It's gonna be hot. And those y'all who are coming to it. Uh, be prepared to uh, make sure you you stay hydrated. Uh, John Deere and Tiger Cat both will be feeding people at lunch. Uh, so most time they have like you know catfish plates and or chicken fingers. If you don't like catfish, you can get chicken fingers and stuff like that. So uh, and there'll be just about everybody over there have a bottle of water that you can pick up and drink. So. Make sure you stay plenty hydrated. Two years ago when I had the show over there, there were, uh, there were some people got too hot over there and they had to haul them out of there. So pay attention to that. Don't, don't get to having too good of a time to where you you uh, fool around and get too hot or anything. But uh, uh, so I'm just gonna be wandering around over there. Uh, appreciate all y'all, all the views. It's good, been a good week this week uh, with what's happened with cotton top three and stuff like that and a lot more good things to come a uh, lot of good videos sitting here ready that i just got to edit together that i've already got filmed and stuff like that so uh if you, you know if you like my stuff if you like cotton top three stuff uh, please subscribe to me all you gotta do is click it it's it's it don't cost you any money to subscribe all you gotta do is have a a youtube account and that's free to do and once you subscribe when you subscribe, there's a little bell right there. You can click on that bell. And what happens when you click that bell? When I publish a video, you automatically, bam, get an email right in your inbox that quick like that when you when you publish it. So thank you to all the people who have subscribed and the people who come back day to day and watch my stuff. I very much appreciate that. Uh, so you can find right down below too, you can find my... Uh, Amazon link down there for all the stuff that I use there and also my uh, website cottontop3.com has all my t-shirts, caps, and all the merchandise is right there too but uh, be ready it should be happening this next week I've got the Milwaukee stuff here I messed with it a little bit last night uh, what you're going to see first is going to be a 9 inch cordless 18 volt milwaukee grinder you talking about a beast this thing is a beast it's got a 12 amp hour battery on it it's something else i mean this this thing is really cool I, like i said i messed with it some last night so you're gonna get to see that thing in action so y'all stay tuned for that so we'll catch y'all later later taters